today we are at the Etro, backstage of the Etro Fashion Show and the look that we're creating today is a very, it was inspired by kind of equestrian women, a very handsome look. Uh, we wanted the boys to have that kind of boyish beauty. Hi, my name is Apolline. I'm from Ukraine. I'm 18 years old. It's my first time in Milan and I'm excited about it. I like Milan uh, and it's uh, old streets. It reminds me one town in my Ukraine, in, uh, it's Lviv. And yeah, I like it. Typical day. Okay, I get up like at 7 a.m. I have breakfast and I have a lot of cousins, feet in shows, and I came home like at 8, 9 p.m. in good way. And if it's not good, and if it's not good, like at 10 p.m. and go to bed because I'm very tired during Fashion Week. But I love my job, so I'm glad. <laughs> A typical day would be waking up, getting picked up by a driver, and leaving the hotel. Well, unless I'm in New York, or I live in New York, so leaving my apartment, going to a show probably, and then maybe racing to another show because the the first show finishes say at 9:30, and then the next show is at 11, and that's not a lot of time to do hair and makeup. And after that, I might have a fitting, and then another show, and then fittings after that at night. That could be a typical day during Fashion Week. I think all all models, pa most probably mostly the models who I work with now are an inspiration because we see each other all the time. We kind of, we help each other get through. We know that we're all exhausted. We know what we're going through and it's, it's nice, companionship. My typical day during Fashion Week. Uh, wake up early, run, uh, iron makeup, eat something, walk, then run again to another show, uh, doing the same thing, then sometimes fittings in between, sometimes casting in between, then run, run, walk, run, eat something, and no time for toilets, no time for rest. <laughs> Now, like the blogger, as we can see, they have more and more uh, power because now, if you look at the front row, some blogger has on it, not before. And also, it's like it's a kind of democratization of fashion with it. So it changed it a lot because before it was like a kind of elitism. It was a little circle, people in between, almost brow. The whole theme of the collection is already in the title, rather say, which is Lady Paisley. And we actually started from the old Kashmiri shawls of the 18th century, where we started from. And from there on, we wanted to open them all up and doing a sort of reassemblement. And I would rather say it's a very feminine connection, very rather seductive in a way, which is quite new for us. So 